Carousel view is a view for presenting data in a scrollable layout, where users can swipe to move through a collection of items. By default, Carousel view will display its items in a horizontal orientation. A single item will be displayed on screen, with swipe gestures resulting in forwards and backwards navigation through the collection of items. In addition, indicators can be displayed that represent each item in the carousel view. By default, carousel view provides looped access to its collections of items. Therefore, swiping backwards from the first item in the collection will display the last item in the collection. Similarly, swiping forwards from the last item in the collection will return to the first item in the collections. Carousel view shares much of its implementation with collection view. However, the two controls have different use cases. Collection view is typically used to present lists of data of any length, whereas carousel view is typically used to highlight information in a list of limited length. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech in audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms carousel view. 2. Populate a carousel view with data. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. The appearance of each item can be defined by setting the item template property to a data template. Here, we wrap the stack layout with frame. Inside the stack layout are properties of the animal we would like to display. To populate carousel view with data, we simply set its item source property to any collection that implements iEnumerable. Let's go to code behind and set the item source of carousel view. I already input the collections we will provide to the carousel view's item source. So here, I'm using an observable collections with a type animal model, which I also already created. Back here in code behind, let's set the carousel view's item source. Let's run the app. As you can see, the output is similar to a carousel page. But what makes the carousel view special is that you don't have to create a new page to display a new collection. You can have multiple carousel view on a single page. You can also continue swiping from right or left even after the last or first item in the list. Because carousel view provides looped access to its collections of items. Carousel view also has an indicators that represent the number of items in current position in a carousel view. This can be accomplished with the indicator view control. Let's run the app again. In this example, the indicator view is rendered beneath the carousel view, with an indicator for each item in the carousel view. 
The indicator view is populated with data by setting the carousel view indicator property to the indicator view object. Each indicator is a light gray circle, while the indicator that represents the current item in the carousel view is dark gray. Carousel view supports context menus for items of data through the swipe view, which reveals the context menu with a swipe gesture. Since my carousel view s layout is horizontal, the gesture I used for this is top and bottom. So it does not conflict with the swipe selection of the collection view. Let's run the app again. We can also respond to the current item changing by adding an event called current item changed. Let's add two labels to display the previous and current item. Now let's go to code behind and implement the current item changed event. Here, we get the current and previous item using current item changed events arts. Assigned it to a variable. From these variable, we can select any property of the selected item. For this, I select its name. Let's run the app again. Carousel view has more properties that control user interaction. Like loop, visible views, position, and command properties which are applicable for MVVM pattern which I will be discussing on separate video lessons. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.